everyone welcome to figure fantasy so we're going to be going over galatea's review after a few months since uh, we launched this game so we're gonna be going over all the positions that they have brand allies that they are you know uh compatible with advantages needs and um, future figures that are dropping for this faction or this brand so starting off with galatea as defender obviously this is i think the one bright spot that uh is uh shining in galatea i don't think there are other highlighted figures in this group i think th there's a few but i think ayane is uh i think most especially special because of what she does and when she came in she really changed the dynamic of uh, of galatea as a group um sad to say yuki was supposed to be um is actually a good defender but she doesn't <laughs> she won't really cut it because she's only at max level 160 but definitely if you're a beginner if you're in the mid game she will really help you carry your team if you don't have um if you don't have ayane in your lineup okay for the vanguards we have midori of course midori probably is a beginner would do but not so much for the mid game up to to the end game then you have zhao yun where is he okay my thoughts on this guy is uh when I was starting out, he used to carry my team. So again, he could be up to the mid game as well. Not so much with uh, the end game. Um, he has good survivability, but not too good of a damage. Although he has kind of a AOE, pseudo AOE damage, uh, wherein his ultimate passes through the other unit at the back. But definitely not enough damage for a Vanguard. So. Let's move on to the militarist for this one. Starting with Ryoma first. Again, not... <laughs> uh, both Midori and him actually have the same more or less matching outfit. But not really one of the best militarists for Galatea. And um, again, never mind. The one that is in a spotlight and used to be the carry for Galatea is Lubu. So Lubu and Ayani both are... I think the bright spots of this uh, this brand, Lubu, fantastic damage dealer, really has a good synergy with the team. And let's move on to specialist. So we have first, uh, where's Akechi? Akechi Mitsuhide, uh, good for good for for ignite, but that is his extent actually. Um, his buffs, those, uh, he's not, his kit is really lackluster aside from those that I mentioned. So, again, he, I think he needs a rework a bit. Next on our specialist is going to be Osuke. So, for Osuke Okada, I have mixed reviews with him. Some are saying that he's good, some are saying he's bad. For me, I think he only shines in a couple of stages within the game. S uh, slowing down hordes could be it, but not even the damage. So, again, Usuki is going to be your specialist in slowing down enemies on the other side. So, next is going to be our helpers, which is Zhao Yu. Starting with Zhao Yu. One, I think one, one of the top three in terms of healing is going to be Zhao Yu. Um... A lot of buffs as well and i i actually sometimes prefer him over mako depending on some situations but the other one that is shining as well i forgot about her from the helpers is going to be erixia so erixia you have erixia you have lubu and you have ayani those three are your carries for galatea um erixia once you get her up to at least five star pink and above, she's going to be very, very good. Um, particularly in PvP in 5.5 matches, she's going to be terrific for you. Okay, next we have our brand allies. So brand allies, 
starting with Milim. So Milim is going to complement them more. They need um, definitely firepower um, in terms of military. So she is also a good complement for Lubu. Then you have Z uh, Zuki Liang. Of course, he's going to be everywhere. He's going to complement everybody in this um, in this game. And you have Irens. Also, you can complement her with uh, with Ayane, and uh, she ca she and Ayane can carry a defensive front. And the last one would be I Akino, or the other one. Um, if you don't have I, obviously you can use Sakura. But again, complement. Uh, she can really complement your team as well. She can complement Lubu, also as militarists. Okay. <coughs> So as far as advantage is concerned, at this point, I don't see them having an advantage as a faction. They are just building themselves up. Not you, Galatea. So um, they're just building themselves up. And uh, so far, they haven't built their identity yet. Okay. Needs for this faction, definitely a solid vanguard that can deal a lot of damage. Not Zhao Yun, obviously. And also a specialist. Um, they need one in that area as well. So let's uh, let's go to the reinforcements or the future figures that will be dropping for this faction. So you have here, first and foremost, your uh, first uh, vanguard, which is going to be Kizuna Al or Kizuna AI. I'm not sure if it, this is an L or an A. Uh, L or an I, but Kizuna is going to be one of your uh, top vanguards for Galatea. The next that will be dropping is going to be um, Date Masamune. So Date Masamune, again, another one, but he's going to be, I think, A tier for Galatea. The next would be this unknown girl. Please name her for me. I don't know what her name is based on the translation. So, so far, I don't know her name. Um, she is a specialist. Uh, definitely, Galatea needs a specialist. And the last one dropping, which is everybody's, um, you know, everybody's looking forward to him is Ultraman. So, another uh, vanguard for you guys for Galatea. So, um, all the three vanguards, I think most of you guys will, will be going for Ultraman. Not so much for the other two that I mentioned. And also this girl. The unknown girl that I'm not sure what her name is. So please put her name in the comment section and uh, you know tell me who she is. And also, um, what are your thoughts about... Galatea as a faction. Will they will this, you know, will this group of reinforcements be enough to propel them to be at par with the two other factions? So again, they need a lot of love for from our devs. So hopefully Galatea can have their own identity in terms of a faction, in terms of the brand. And that is it, guys. So hopefully this review of um, you know of the recent developments for Galatea helped you and um, if you're still here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here